Welcome back here to X's and Bros on the Michigan Sports Network. Danny Kahalem, Ryan Elke, Anthony Polito all joining you. Joining us now, he covered the Detroit Tigers minor league system for a couple of decades. And he's a member of the National Football Foundation of Football Writers Association of America. He should be voting for Heisman. His name is John Wagner. Find him on Twitter at John Wagner Sport. Johan, my good friend, how the hell are you, partner? Anthony, I, I started laughing now when I hear your introduction because I used to cover the Tiger, Tigers minor league system. I covered college football for more than a decade. And now, what do I cover? I cover snow plows, baby. I cover snow plows. Snow and trust plows. me, that's no, that is no little deal in the state of Minnesota, which, as we speak, it is snowing again after snowing for eh, pretty much the better part of three straight days last week. It is snowing again. So... And trust me, for folks, I mean, if you're listening in the UP or in the northern parts of Michigan, you, you're you like, welcome to my world, friend. If you're, it's your listeners in Detroit or in Toledo, it's like, Snowmageddon, baby, Snowmageddon. It is crazy I cover, how that works. I cover snow plows. Wow. And, it, and, and may I tell hey, Anthony, I'm sorry, we got we to gotta share a laugh here for a second. The state of Minnesota, they love their snow plows, and if you got this much snow, you'd understand why. So for the last two years, though, they have loved their snow plows so much that they actually have a, a name, a MnDOT snow plow competition, year three. And the state of Minnesota is divided up into eight sections, so each district has its own snow plow, and they have they. They have a competition to name the snow plows. Is it okay if I share some of the snow plow names? Absolutely. Tis the sea. Did you know you're talking to Ticket Claws? We love the snow. Hear those sleigh bells jingle, and I send out tickets to the people. I'm the Santa Claus of tickets. Do you know what Santa needs for his reindeer? Snow. You know what we don't need for our vehicles? Snow. We got to plow those roads. Indeed. Tell me Plowasaurus Rex was on there. Plowasaurus Rex, indeed, was one of last year's winners, along with Betty Whiteout, Control <laughs> Salt Delete, a one you're going to love. Are you ready for this? This one is right down your alley here, Anthony. Scoop Dog. Scoop Dog. Scoop Dog, No More Mr. Ice Guy, and Edward Blizzard Hands, amongst others. The first year winners. I, and I'm saving my all-time favorite for last. Uh, some of the other winners the first year were Plowy McPlowface, Plow Bunyan. It's Minnesota, so of course you have Plow Bunyan. Uh, Snowby Juan Kenobi, along with Darth Blader. But my favorite, which is so Minnesota. Are you ready? Yes. The truck, the truck formerly known as Plow. I, I'm going to have to go with Snowby One Kenobi or uh, Scoop Dog was good. What was the other one? Shoot. Oh, my gosh. Not the, it's Prince. It's a Prince reference. I, I know, but I'm not, like a, the, I'm not a big Prince guy. Who cares? The truck formerly known as Plow. Yeah. It's hilarious. Yeah, it's I, hilarious. Just not I have to admit, I made, a, I made a submission this year. The one, the one element that they're missing, I said, well, there's two. There's no Judy Garland. You know, there's got to be something from the Wizard of Oz that fits here. Maybe it's the Blizzard of Oz. Yeah, but there's also no Bob Dylan reference. So I, you know, I the snow they are a blowing, or I, you know, the answer, my friend, is blowing it, snow blowing in the wind. I don't know. There's got, there has to be some kind of a reference to Bob Dylan, and there's not. So that, that's the only thing that's missing with this list. I wonder if MDOT does that, if we name snowplows. I will have to, uh, I will inquire with my sources in the studio to figure out if we've, uh, if we've named a snowplow yet, because Snowy One Kenobi is definitely high up on my list. Now, there will be more snow all throughout uh, the northern east coast, Buffalo, Chicago, 
Um, Detroit, but they're down in Carolina. Even Carolina is going to be cold this weekend. Uh, estimated to be 34 degrees at kickoff between the Panthers and the Lions. But the one thing we should be doing right now that we're not doing, and it's driving me bonkers, we have taken off a month from playing meaningful football games. There are two games that mean more <coughs> during this bowl season, and I'm not disparaging my beloved Toledo Rockets that are going to uh, go into battle later on today, and it's going to be an epic de uh, defeat of Liberty, Liberty, Liberty on ESPN in the Boca Raton Bowl at FAU Stadium. The Rockets favored by three and a half, neither here nor there. I'm not sending shots at our friend Chris Creighton as he takes on San Jose State at Albertson Stadium in Boise, Idaho for the famous Idaho Potato Bowl. But there are two games that mean more to everybody. It's the college football playoff. This thing should have been expanded years ago. We should not be taking a month off to wait. Even if you're a lover of the Rose Bowl, you're one of those Rose Bowl slaps that stuck in 1971. Guess what? It's still a month off. Well, first of all, how could you not have mentioned Detroit's bowl game? Because the quick it, lane bowl. Because it's not it, it's not it's not later on today. Yeah, uh, but yes, yeah, the quick lane bowl. QLB ticket. You're talking a ticket next, clause. It's next week, and it's before we speak again. We will not speak again before the quick lane bowl takes place. Monday, Monday, December twenty sixth, one thirty. The Bowling Green Falcons and Jerry Kill's New Mexico State Aggies do a battle. Be there, Aloha. I, That's one thirty your Anthony. time, two thirty our time. Ticket clause uh, will yeah. be here later on in the show, though, folks. If you want tickets to go to the Quick Lane Bowl, we're gonna send you and a friend. It's a great stocking stuffer for the kids because what's better than going to a game with dad? Absolutely nothing. So get those phones out and get ready. But anywho, what are we doing, John? What we're doing, Anthony, what you are doing is trying to kill the bulls as we know them. Yours is, oh, there's only two that matter. There's only two that matter. Some of us like good college football, dude, and there are other games that matter. There are a ton of really interesting bowl games this year, a lot of them. And they're not just the Final Four, which, by the way, you know, as you well know but never care to admit, all it does is lift, give you a postseason champion. It doesn't give you a national champion. It gives you the best team playing late in the year. That's all it tells you. But I digress. Let's go back to it. One thing that you're forgetting and that the others who continue to play week after week after week are forgetting is it's finals week, baby. Our alleged student athletes are supposedly taking finals right around this time. Mm-hmm. Can we let them finish their semester, get the best grades possible, and not have to worry about playing more football? Can we do that? Huh? 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 How do they? Are we not how really they, a student athlete how do activity? They, oh, pfft. Uh, yeah, find me 110,000 <laughs> lined up to go to a, a, a quiz bowl. Like, get get out of here. You, 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 come on, John. That's not. That's just who, preposterous. We can move. A quiz we, bowl, you know, like, can who move. wants to be a millionaire? You know, a lot of people watch that on TV, too. They did? Or Jeopardy. Who do you, what do you, Jeopardy? You don't think a lot of people watch Jeopardy? How many people win in Jeopardy throughout the course of a year? It's a, it's a, Put it this way. Huh. We could name the big winners in Jeopardy just as easily as we could name the big winners in college football bowl games. Trust me. It, ask your readers, or your listeners, rather, have they ever heard of Ken Jennings? Ken Jennings never coached in a bowl game, dude. Have you ever heard of all the millionaires are going to be made throughout the NFL draft, John? We can always we can push finals week back. That's not hard. You can take your finals <laughs> at another time. Yeah, let's. Yeah, you know that educational component. Let's move that around. We're not so worried that about our that, football John. Football needs are taken care John, of. John, apparently, Anthony. John, apparently. We're, not, we're not worried about that. We, uh, we haven't been worried about that in 30 years. And, hey, there's one other thing that you've forgotten about that is very vitally appoint, uh, uh, apparently important because it's going on right now. Have you forgotten about the transfer portal? These are all dates. All these 
These are all dates we could push back. If the playoff is going on, don't start the portal until after the new year. That's not hard. Why would you do that, Anthony? You want these kids to pick their schools and be ready for the spring semester so they can be ready for spring ball. The more you push that portal back, the more you screw up all kinds of things, and not the least of which is recruiting. National Letter of Intent Day in two days. Do you want to focus on that and bowl games? Pick a lane, buddy. Pick a lane. I've already picked my lane. I know. The bowl. You, for, like, you want to drop like, you act to like play we're another not, game. We're not. We're we're playing bowl games right now. What about the? What about like? Let's say for instance, uh, later on today, Toledo and Eastern Michigan. Their their coaching staff isn't worried about the transfer portal. They're, they're, and they're worried about recruiting as well. And their kids aren't but taking the, finals? Like, but, they're still playing, John. But Come right on. Now, but right now, you wanted to have those two weeks prior to get the hay in the barn, proverbially, with your recruiting, figuring out which kids are transferring and which kids are staying. There's plenty of moving parts going on right now, Anthony. Paul Lenty. And there's Paul only, Lenty. There's only one moving part that matters, John. And you know what that is? The national championship. Playing for the natty, John. That's what matters most. That is paramount. The rest of this stuff, you can move. You can move it around. There, there are teams playing right now. There's been teams that went to the Bahamas during finals week. Nobody's worried about finals week when they got to go to the Bahamas. Nobody's worried about finals week when you're playing around in the Atlantic Ocean in the Boca Raton Bowl. Nobody's worried about the transfer Wait. portal when Marshall takes on UConn yesterday. And here's another element that obviously you've forgotten. With a month off, you get all those extra practices, 15 all told, mm -hmm. and you have a chance for your kids to get healthy. You have the best chance to get a healthy squad on the field for a bowl game. You don't think that's a, small, a large consideration. I was about to call it a small consideration. It's not. Kids get banged up of football players. I'm sorry. I shouldn't be calling them kids. Players, whether they're pro, college, or high school, they get banged up over the course of the year. By week 10, 11, 12, 14, depending on your level, you're not 100%. Even if you're able to play, you're not 100%. Here you get a couple of weeks to get to as close to 100% as you can be, so you have the best team available on the field for the bowl game yeah you know as much as much as i'd like to say like oh man that's i just um i'm just not buying it i mean we, we do it like to get healthy we're gonna take a month off to get healthy nobody's healthy once the first game kicks off that's the best you're gonna feel all season like it's it when you gotta grow up and get to the professional level nobody's healthy once you break camp you're lucky to make it out of camp healthy uh, you know, you, you, high school kids have been playing nonstop. They're not worried about it. Like, I don't, this whole month off thing for these bowl games is just preposterous. We could have expanded the playoffs. We could have had monster bowl matchups uh, this weekend on campus sites, generating even more revenue for athletic departments to fork over to the ac academic side of the world. <laughs> Humbug. Uh, anywho, but you, you get what I'm saying here. Well, we we as, should be playing. As opposed to the opportunity of sending your kids to a warm weather site. Or a, an interesting site. You know, sometimes what? not every about? site. The potato bowl. Uh, actually, Boise, Idaho is beautiful. I have been there. It is beautiful. What about going to Yankee Stadium? What about going to New York City, which is where uh, uh, the University of Minnesota is going? Pinstripe Bowl. You don't think that's a great cultural event for those kids? Getting to go to New York City? The kids who went to Boston, they get to play at Fenway Park and get to see a great cultural center in Boston. They're, even if you're going to uh, Montgomery, Alabama, which is where I went one year with Bowling Green the, for what was then called the Camellia Bowl. Oh, was that before or after the GoDaddy uh, Bowl? That Well, I went to – well, I never actually went to the GoDaddy. I did go to the – uh, in different iterations. Um, the one was the uh, oh, the bowl that was by all the car dealerships. You know, the they they were all combined as one. I brain locked on it. I'll think about it eventually. But I mean, going to Mobile, Alabama, 
during a Mardi Gras festival. It ain't New Orleans, but it's a competitive second. Mobile's pretty cool. Uh, also, you go to Montgomery, where they have the uh, different Rosa Parks memorials. That was interesting. It was fascinating. So, you know, there are cultural opportunities of going to these bowl games as well. You know, if they just it's expand. Not a, and what kind of what kind of cultural opportunity is available to Ohio State if they have to stay in Columbus for another week, or if some poor forsaken team is sent to Columbus to play in a bowl game, quote unquote, a playoff game in late December, where you know the temperature is going to be ugh, and the weather is going to be ick. GMAC Bowl, by the way, was the name of the bowl. Oh, yeah, there. the GMAC Bowl. Yes, I do remember that. Here's the cultural opportunity if you're Ohio State. If they ever expanded this thing to what it should be, 16 teams, you'd get Florida State. That's cultural. Get a little seven chop there in Columbus. That's what we want. I right, Look, you want to go visit the, uh, you know, a, a cultural center. You want to go to Mardi Gras. You want to go to New York City. You want to go to Fenway or Boise or go to Mars for all I care. Go ahead with your free ride education. You've saved a lot of money leaving school. Best of luck to you. Go get all the culture you want. It's football season. Play some games. There ain't nothing I can do to culture you up, Anthony. It's like meh. Yeah. Good I, heavens. I, I am. We're cultural. all about the game. Let's not. We're all no, about the game. Not. I'm all about the game. That's yeah. all. That, that's what I'm about. I'm about the game. The, the student athletes get plenty of great experiences. Go to any college town bar as a football player and tell me about all the cultural experiences you're going to have. Trust me. It's way better than going to Mobile, Alabama. I was there at Ziggy Zumba's on the campus of Bowling Green, John. Remember that. You and I, we're in the same turf there. We got a lot of those places there where the tabs you come out at the end of the night, $3. Okay. I don't know how that happened, but I got. 12 quarters for you Good heavens. he's john wagner he, he is a cultural phenomenon you could call him plow a source rex if you'd like to plow him right out of here find him on twitter john wagner sport johan my friend as always we appreciate the time anthony the truck formerly known as plow merry christmas to you and all of your listeners merry christmas john wagner get yeah. out of here Hey, by the way, did we get a uh, a ticket winner by the name of Bryce? Did Bryce call in? He did, yes. Man, that is uh that that's awesome. He I I don't think he understood ticket clause. So uh for Uh Bryce, yeah, your tickets will be emailed to you whenever we get them. He said I hoping I got lucky and it's the Michigan TCU ticket since we have our flights booked but no game tickets yet. Yeah, no, it's not. <laughs> Sorry, Bryce. God bless him. God bless him. All right, Bryce, I'll uh I'll slide back in your DMs.